It is time now to take a look at some of the big stories from around the country trending on our website, countdown2.com. The U.S. Senate has voted to ensure the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund never runs out of money. The bill passed will fund health care for 9-11 victims and their families until the year 2092. The vote comes after the intense lobbying from ailing 9-11 responders, including one who died shortly after testifying before Congress last month. President Trump is expected to sign the legislation on Friday. Federal Federal regulators fined Facebook $5 billion for privacy violations. Federal Trade Commission investigated Facebook after learning Cambridge Analytica had gathered details on nearly 87 million Facebook accounts without permission. In addition to the fine, the FTC is requiring Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg to personally certify the company's compliance with privacy programs. Zuckerberg could face civil or criminal penalties for false certifications. An 18-year-old U.S. citizen was released after being held in Immigration and Customs Enforcement custody for three weeks. His attorney says he was freed from a detention center in Texas after he was detained at an ICE checkpoint on June 27th. The man was born in Dallas and he had a state ID and a birth certificate on him at the time of his arrest. A company is recalling its textured breast implants, which have been linked to cancer following a request by the FDA. The recall comes after data shows the majority of cases of breast implants associated with anaplastic large cell lymphoma were linked to these implants. According to the FDA, 33 women have died. The FDA is not recommending women with textured implants to have them removed if they're not experiencing symptoms, which include swelling, pain and irritation. Next.